This is a pre-lab discussion for activity number 9 entitled Salts. These are the reagents and apparatuses that you will need. So for the reagents, you will need a 1 molar acetic acid, 1 dropper full, 1 molar ammonium hydroxide, 1 dropper full. So this is what I mean. You will draw 1 ml, around 1 ml of, that is 1 dropper full, the ammonium hydroxide and the acetic acid, and you will sit the dropper containing the reagent in a test tube. Okay, and the other apparatuses that you'll need, beaker, watch glasses, droppers, test tube, Bunsen burner, clay shield, and wire gauze. So for the first part, this is about properties of the starting material. Where? Part one of the experiment is about properties of the starting materials. Letter A, property of ammonium hydroxide. You will need one drop of ammonium hydroxide on a watch glass. And then you place this on top of a beaker with boiling water. Allow to boil for 15 minutes. Remove the watch glass and wipe dry the water that condensed under the watch glass. Since this is boiling water, may magko-condense na water under the watch glass. Okay, what happened to the ammonium hydroxide? Describe your result. Sa so part B, instead of ammonium hydroxide, you will place acetic acid. So parehong setup, but sa so part B, Instead of ammonium hydroxide, you use one drop of acetic acid and then same procedure after evaporating for 15 minutes, wipe dry, and then take note what happened to the acetic acid. Then, using the third watch glass, yung pangatlong watch glass, because in this part of the uh, experiment, Part 1 and 2, you will need 3 watch glasses. Okay, so pangatlong watch glass, you will uh, place 5 drops of acetic acid and 5 drops of ammonium hydroxide together Okay, on the third watch glass. And likewise, you will evaporate the mixture in water bath. Okay. So after it has evaporated for 15 minutes, wipe dry again the bottom and take note what happens. Describe what happens. Okay, so you will compare watch glass sa number 1A, 1B, at saka sa number 2. Tatlong watch glasses ang inyong i ko compare and Remember to take picture of your result. Part 3 of the experiment. This is preparation of a salt by the action of an acid on another salt. So your reagents consist of 3 molar acetic acid, 2 ml, and a pinch of calcium carbonate. You will need two test tubes, an evaporating dish, Bunsen burner, clay shield, and wire gauze. You will place the, the calcium carbonate, a pinch of calcium carbonate, into the test tube containing 2 ml of 3 molar acetic acid. Shake and 
record your observation. Allow to stand and settle for 10 minutes. Decant the supernatant liquid into an evaporating dish. And then you are going to evaporate to dryness. Once dry, remove the evaporating dish and allow to cool. Okay. Part 4 is preparation of salt by the reaction of two salts. Your reagents consist of 0.2 molar of potassium dichromate, 1 ml. Ganito lang karami ang 1 ml. Yan lang. About 1 centimeter in height. And 0.2 molar barium chloride, 1 third ml. Ganito lang siya kaliit. Okay, you will mix them together. To 1 ml of potassium chromate solution, add a few, a few drops. So this will consist a few drops. You will add this into the uh, other solution of barium chloride solution. What? Take note of your observation, record your observation, and also take picture. Sa part 5, this is preparation of salt by replacement. You will need 0.2 molar of copper sulfate, 5 ml, in a test tube. And the other reactant is a magnesium ribbon about 1 inch in size. To 5 ml of copper sulfate solution, add the magnesium ribbon. Okay, allow to stand decant into an evaporating dish and evaporate to dryness. Okay, is there anything left in the evaporating dish? Again, uh, take picture of your result. Part 6. 